G'day everyone, it's Annette here and welcome to my channel Alchemy Art. I haven't had a chance yet to get to making my purple beach scene but I will shortly. I had an order for quite a few turtle resin trays so I've been madly making those over the last two weeks. I also made a beautiful little resin um, mermaid tray so I've got that video here and I'll pop that up for you. I won't talk too much, I'll list everything as I go through the video and down below in the description box. been an hour since I poured it. It's the Bilnan's resin. It, it gets um, quite warm. It's not too bad. I don't think it's too hot. Okay, so about 30, 32 maybe. Oh, it's going down. Yeah, about 32 degrees Celsius. And um, it's firm in the middle, but still sort of soft on the edges. I don't know if it's done much. I don't want to pick it up because it is still soft on the edges. But it looks like the blues come over the top of the white and the white has sunk underneath. What I'm hoping is that the white is now on the other side and 
if it looks okay, or even if it doesn't, I guess, I, I can always cover up things with some stick. hours later but um, I think this is fully set I thought I'd demold it before I go to work and just have a look at it so let's get this out of here hopefully it hasn't stuck anywhere you can see uh, with this resin the Bilnan's resin it's very thin when you pour so all the glitter has actually fallen through uh, which is a shame because it's pretty glitter, but anyway. I thought it might do that, but now I know. Got a little bit stuck here. That's the problem also with this resin. It um, overheats so fast, so I'm trying to ease this off without damaging the mould. But I don't know if I'm going to make it. is okay I think. You ready? Ooh. Okay. Not what I expected. But this is going in a bathroom so uh, I might just put a temporary tattoo on there. Decided to trim this a bit closer so I could work out exactly where I want it to go. I don't know if I put the moon in there. I might take it out for now. I can always add it later. What do you reckon? I think I might put some of these cute little stickers, maybe the shells down there and I don't know, maybe three jellyfish. Yeah, they're called um, moon jellyfish. They're just stickers I found on Temu. Um, Anyway, I'll stick them into place and we'll um, see how they look. Uh, that's the little pack that the Moonlight Jellyfish come in. And they were quite a good price. There's 40 to a pack. 
very pale looking and you just take off the backing and they stick down so they still have a bit of a clear edge on them but it, uh, once you put resin on the top you shouldn't see it. I'll just stick on these jellyfish and I'll be back. Uh, before I put all my PPE on and put the resin on, I just wanted to show you how it looked like now. So we've got three jellyfish and two pretty shells down the bottom. And I've put tape along the edges on the back and elevated it up. Just put my PPE on and get my resin ready um, because this isn't going to have hot drinks on it. I don't need to worry about the resin being heat resistant. So I'll just use the same resin I have been using. This isn't uh, fully cured, but it's um, looking just gorgeous. Yeah, very nice. All right, uh, now I just need to heat up the edges and remove the tape and trim it up and I'll take some photos and get this video up for you all. Very pretty. Here is the finished product. It turned out absolutely gorgeous. I'm really in love with the tattoo and the jellyfish and the shimmery part right down through the middle. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll get to my Purple Resin Beach soon. For today though, thank you everyone for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.